Hey guys. So I had an idea to show you guys some things you can do during these two weeks so you don't totally lose your mind. I have a schedule for my kids um, of things we're going to do. I called it the quarantine schedule just to play a little light on it just because I don't want my kids freaking out too much. Um, but I also know that it's not a joke. So don't get offended when I show you that. It's just to keep things light in my house. This week the kids each had a special day where they got to choose the lunch and the theme. Because of one of the lunches we actually packed. Okay guys, so, so far we have ran through breakfast, a nature break, spelling, and math. Now they're on their computer. Um, they get an hour of computer time, but it has to be like ABC Mouse or ABC Mouse right now. And then next is PE, and so before getting into PE, I'm going to start lunch, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make for them. So today was just some corn dogs, tater tots, salad, kiwi, and fruit snacks, and a juice. And I had got these trays a while back for camping, and they are being very handy right now.
And I'm reaping all the benefits. Obviously, I know everything isn't all peachy. You will get depressed, I'm sure, at some moments like I have and do something like, you know, uh, shove a whole zinger in your mouth. Okay, so I pause my music. I just wanted to say right now in this um, state of mind that I feel super privileged that in the... <clears throat> How do I want to say this? In the state that our planet is currently in, and the self-isolation and everything that virus spreading, um, even though it has been mentally taxing on me as well as everybody, um, <clears throat> especially people who have lost loved ones to this, um, I also want everyone to try to remember that we are extremely privileged that we have the stuff that we do now. Um, we can game, like I've been gaming with my siblings to keep in contact with them. I can turn on music and wirelessly listen to them on my headphones while I'm cooking dinner to like just enjoy some music and dance around and be goofy. Um, my kids can still learn. We have printed out sheets. Most people have printers nowadays. Not saying everybody does, but um, my sister has a printer and she's willing to print stuff out for me. Uh, we have computers. We have phones. We can video chat. It's just like, this is hard, but also remember all the things that you do have. And like, I'm cooking chicken parmesan right now. I'm just saying. Like, I don't think that we would feel so content that, like, our food is going to be fine. Um, whatever. Like, I don't feel like I'm going to have a food shortage anytime soon so I can make chicken parmesan. You know, that type of thing. Anyways, I just wanted to pop on here and say that because I am trying to be grateful for what I do have in this, um, <clears throat> situation. And I'm also trying to stay extremely grounded to I'm trying to reconnect and be grounded to how our um, elders and ancestors probably would have been living Bruce leave the cat alone stop anyways uh, there's my little um why oh that's because uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed my little, uh, philosophy. Okay, let's see. What do I want? Pizza, pizza, coffee, or coffee? And I think I'll take, um, coffee.
it back. Was it a coffee? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't do it. What's he looking at? Alright guys, thanks for watching this video and I hope that everyone is staying safe and being um, healthy and trying to be as happy as possible during this time and I hope that some of these tips help you stay busy during your self-isolation.